Alright, what is up guys? Today what we're going to be making is this little paper star. You could use it for decorations or whatever you want to use it for. But it's pretty big, I guess, with this piece, but it's going to be modular, so it's going to have five different pieces that we're going to have to stick together. And in this one, I'm just going to show you how to make one, because the other four are going to look exactly the same, so they're all going to be made exactly the same. And then once we make those, I'll show you how to put it together. So what you're going to want is a square piece of paper. So I take a copy paper, turn it into a square. Once so again, I take this top top line and fold it together along this sideline or this sideline. It doesn't really matter. Just to where it is a point. And you're going to want to go ahead and crease it down. And if you're using paper that's already square, just go ahead and make this fold anyways. Just fold one corner to the opposite corner. And with that... What you're going to want to do is go ahead and rip or cut that off. If you want a true origami, you're just going to rip it off. But I'm going to go ahead and cut that extra little flap off. And you can save these little flaps. You can make like um, little lucky stars or something out of these flaps. So don't throw them away. But that's all we're going to be ripping and cutting. So with this flap, what you're going to want to do from this flap on is you're going to want to take each... A little piece so you're gonna have the center crease right here and you want to take each of these sides and fold it into that center crease from this position so you're gonna to want to take this basically this line and fold it along this line the more precise you are the better this is going to turn out and you're gonna to want to do the same but you're gonna to want to make sure you fold it so it's the same way as this one so don't fold it like this where it looks like that no we don't want it like that we want it to look like fold it so it looks like kind of like a paper you're working on making a paper airplane now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and unfold this with these flaps facing up now what you're going to want to do so it should look like a kite so now what you're going to want to do is take each of these corners and fold them in towards each other with these flaps opposite. So the flaps are going to be down. So you're going to want to take these with the flaps down and fold it in half. So these flaps should basically stick out when you're done. And the more precise it is, the better. Crease all that down. Try to crease it all down as much as you can. So it should look something like this. And then you can go ahead and unfold it. And then what you can go ahead and do is flip it back upside down. Now what you're going to want to do is fold each of these sides. So this side and this side with the triangle part down here. You're going to want to fold them into this middle crease. So the more precise, the better. So try to line up your shots. Make it really precise because it's going to end up turning out a lot better. And what you want to do is kind of unfold both of these pieces. Now, along that same line you just made, you're going to want to fold this little flap, this little line, like on this one and this one. You want to fold into that little crease you just barely made. Like that. Then you're going to do the same thing on this side. And then you can go ahead and fold both these other creases back in. So it kind of looks like that. Now what you're going to want to do is take this little flap right here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fold. So you're going to take it like this where these little flaps are like this. You're going to want to take both of these lines fold them along this middle crease. But only one at a time. So let me show you what I mean. So what you're going to want to do is take one, fold it into that middle line. Then you're going to want to unfold before you fold the other side into that middle line. So it should look something like this. It should have like a little X right here. Then you're going to want to flip it so it's like this. This, this part's a little bit tricky. So both of these little lines, so this line from this point to the middle is going to want to be a valley fold. This point to this point is also going to want to be a valley form. Now, it can be a pain. So what I normally do 
is I just take this top piece, kind of fold it a little bit, and then I kind of just take this piece after it's been folded a little and just kind of squish it in there. So it should look like that, but you don't want it to look like that. So the easier way to do it, you just fold it in half, like so, and then kind of unfold it a little bit, but not a ton. Just kind of push up on this little crease in the middle, and then kind of squeeze this together. And it should go ahead and cooperate, if it wants to cooperate, it'll work. And if you didn't make your creases very good, this this little step is going to be kind of difficult. This step is going to be kind of difficult if you made your creases wrong. If you didn't, well, not really wrong, but if you didn't really do really good creases. So, yeah, this took me a minute. Sometimes it still takes me a minute to get, because it can be a pain in the butt. Because those want to be valley, these two want to be valley folds, but this one in the middle kind of wants to be um, a mountain fold. So basically, once you get it to this point, so it kind of looks weird, but then you kind of can just take this little flap, this little triangle, and just kind of fold it down. Crease it all along. If you need to, you can go back in the video. Should look like that when it's done. If you need to, you can go back in the video, pause it, rewind, whatever, so you can get that fold. And then you're going to make four more of those. And then once you make four more of those, then we're going to go ahead and put them together. So now if you notice, they're all the same. So you take... So what you're going to have is these two kind of smaller little triangles, and then the larger triangles. So what you're going to want to do is take one of the smaller triangles and hold it like hold them like this so you're gonna have a smaller triangle facing towards the bigger triangle and then the smaller triangle is down with the flap open like this and you wanna kind of pop these flaps open so kind of open up these flaps these other two can stay down but you're gonna kind of kind of want to open these flaps and just slide this one directly in to the end and then kind of fold these flaps around this little piece so it kind of stays together now as you start to put this together you're gonna notice that it's gonna start to want to kind of come out because it's gonna be like a 3d star that's fine because it's gonna be a 3d star we're gonna want to do it so again from here you'd notice that you can't see the smaller triangle from this flap but that smaller triangle is inside this one so just make sure it's facing like that and then Flip this one so this open spot's here. You just kind of pop these little flaps open a little bit and just kind of slide it on in and then wrap the flaps back around, making sure they're inside that other one. Now, the more you build it, the trickier it's going to get a little bit because it's going to start to pop out and be 3D. But again, there's this little bigger triangle and this little smaller triangle is inside here. You want to take this smaller triangle facing towards it, pull these flaps out a little bit, and then just slide it right in. Now this last one is the one that can be the trickiest because you got to slide it in two different places. It's got to be in two different places. So the bigger triangles here, smaller triangles in here, but you got to get this bigger triangle around that smaller triangle. But you got to get this smaller triangle around that bigger triangle. Basically, what I like to do is I just like to do this one first. Like, slide the smaller triangle in. Wrap these little flaps around it like so. Then, this is the trickier part. So you're going to want to open this last one. You just put it in. You want to open these flaps like so. Then this little smaller one is, like, tucked underneath it. Basically, what you got to do is pull it around, being careful not to pop this other one out. You just got to kind of pull it around without popping it out, and then kind of tuck it around and flatten that down a little bit, and you should have like a little 3D star. 
Now you can pause, go back, whatever you need at any point in the video. But I hope you like this, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope um, you're able to put it together and everything. And we'll see you all in the next one.